At school, I play indoor volleyball. In 2006, I transferred to play beach volleyball. Just two of us playing in the sun. It's easier to communicate with two people, so that's why I love beach volleyball. When I got there in 2009, we played our first F5EB event in Thailand. Mila had given birth six months prior. 2018, she just given birth seven months prior and then wins a, a bronze medal at the Commonwealth Games. So she's a bit of a, a stud, but the thing that really sticks out about her is she lives her values. Yeah, I'm really proud to represent my country, my family, my community. So yeah, I'm really happy. Last year, I decided to step down for the, as a player, and now I'm involved in for a little better coaching. Mila is my role model because she encourages a lot to pursue a dream and show us that, yeah, we can also be like her as well. She's actually the assistant coach now, even though she's still playing, and she will in two years be the head coach. So a Nivanawatu woman leading the national program, that's a big deal. our custom the girls like they never have equal rights they they work is to stay at home but now we can show them that we can be equal we can become a champion we can chase our dream trying to give them a, a, an example i want to show other women out there if I can do it, then they can too. Mila Pata, what an inspiration. And you can see the influence that she had there on her younger teammate, just saying, you know, back at home. It's a common narrative that we hear. The females assume, you know, that gender role of being stay-at-home mum and looking after the family, making sure the house is in order. But Mila Pata is really just leading from the front there in terms of paving that pathway and bridging that gap um, for, you know, those younger athletes. And the transition to go from player to coach, um, that would produce so many challenges in itself, Dean. Yeah, it would be. To, to be. She's a national hero, no doubt, in, in her sport, and uh, it's great that she's breaking down those barriers, as you say, but to be a competitor and then to be a coach but still be playing at the same time would be challenging when you're, you're working with teammates and telling them what to do, I guess, in a sense, but um, also competing alongside them and being responsible for your own yeah. errors or, or whatnot. Um, but it sounds like she's got a fairly decent reputation amongst the, the juniors coming through and, uh, and a, a pretty good role model for them to follow. Yeah, and being back at home, Kiana, when you visit the Cook Islands, do you see that and having conversations, you know, with the, the females that you're around, do you see that's a common um, challenge that they face, not being able to pursue sport because they assume that, that gender role of being a woman at home? Yeah, 100%. I think it's great to have role models like Mila. Um, perfect example, I think she... She won that Commonwealth medal seven months after having a, a child. Yeah. So pretty amazing. And yeah, I think just really inspirational. It's good to see um, people like her challenging the norm and showing the younger generation that there are other pathways and other, other things that they can be doing, such as chasing their dreams. Mm -hmm. Just on that, uh, them having kids for yourselves, obviously being female athletes, is family, I guess, on the cards? Is that something like a big decision for, for you both to you know, when to have it uh, or if it's going to happen or not. I know for us, when we have our kids, it's sweet. We're going back to training yeah. or back to work. Um, but, you know, yeah, what, what's that lock for you guys? Yeah, it's definitely challenging. It's something that we have to consider and I, I absolutely envy um, the male athletes not having to consider that. You know, you can have an athlete that's debuted at 17 and he can go all the way through to his 30s yeah. and not have to worry about interruption. His wife's had four kids in the meantime, yeah. whereas for us, we really do have to take that into <laughs> consideration. Um, and it is a big decision to make. I know we're at that age now where we've got friends around us that are athletes that are now making the decision to have kids or have had kids and, mm. and come back. Um, and that's a huge challenge challenge in itself, having a child and then having to get the body back in shape and, and recover to be able to go and play for us a contact sport again. I um, can only imagine, you know, you guys have both got kids, um, seeing yeah. what your wives go through. Once you have a baby, it doesn't just stop there, you know, you've got motherhood in itself and um, 
the inspirations for me personally, I think, you know, the women that make it back um, and that do play at that semi-professional level, I, I'm just in awe of them because they're going home to be full-time mum, but they're also putting the exact same amount of effort as I am at training. I know I can speak on behalf of the both of us. Yeah. Um, you know, to come back and really be genuine competitors. So it's, yeah, it's quite inspirational. No, it is. And I, I, like, you know, my wife breastfed my son to about three. So, um, and just, you know, just... It was just full time, and yeah. I, I, I take my hat off to uh, when you do have to do it, make that decision. But uh, obviously, you're trailblazing, and it's good to see that women's sport. I guess hopefully there'll be more uh, support around it. We'll see where it leads from here.